I'm gonna get left behind. Oh, this is going down. We need to divert right, babe. Divert right. We don't know where we're going. We're lost. We're getting out it's of the house and going on a hike. It's a pig. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Pig on a hike, pig on a bike. We're gonna get out of the house. It's so nice out today, 68. Uh, the sun's out, it's just great weather. So we're gonna get out of the house because it's been raining nonstop. We've been quarantined and we're gonna go deep into the nature where there's no human beings. So we're still practicing social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> Very important. Very important. So it's actually like hot in here. That's how. It's pretty warm. Like, this is like the first summer day. It's, it's really nice out. So I'm really excited. We're gonna do a new trail today. Normally we go up the Appalachian Trail to a place called Shock Rock, and it's a bunch of rocks with a ton of graffiti on it, and it's really cool. But once you do it like eight times, it kind of gets boring. So we're gonna go to this new place. It looks really cool. I'm really excited to see it. Pig's panting. She never pants. She might need well, the air conditioning she's not. today. Yeah, it's really warm. We have a bunch of water for her. Hopefully we don't see any bears or anything like that. I love the wilderness. <laughs> I love animals, but they're also terrifying. <laughs> so, I mean, a deer, like, obviously that's fine, but hopefully no mountain lions or bears. Yeah, that would suck, especially for the pig. Yeah. What would we do? Our suburban life, we don't really have to worry about things like bears. Yeah, really. We did last year. Where we live last summer, I think, there was like a bunch of black bears. We have, we follow like this community page and a bunch of people were having like black bears in their backyard and it was a whole thing. I wonder if it's gonna happen this year, I don't know. Way harder than I thought. Yeah, this is honestly so difficult. I thought this was like a walking trail. Like, I thought I was in okay shape, like okay shape. Um, this trail's proven me wrong. <laughs> no, I have to carry I, I, don't I am in horrible, horrible shape. I already drank a full bottle of water. We've been doing this for three minutes now. Are you tired? No, I'm taking a break for pig. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> pig is rolling out. I'm gonna get left behind, but the views are beautiful and uh, it's going well. Oh, this is going down. We need to divert right, babe. Divert right. We don't know where we're going. We're lost. Help. Finally made it. <laughs> it was very difficult. It was very difficult. We, we took the hardest trail. We took a wrong turn as well. There's two different trails. There's <laughs> one where it's easy and nice and leisurely, and we took the one that goes straight up, and it's supposed to be the fastest. It was so difficult. Mike had to carry her the whole I way. I don't know how he did it. Halfway, halfway. I guess halfway. She walked, I don't know, but it was really difficult, but we made it. We it's absolutely it gorgeous. It is insane. Look at that view, guys. Look it's at like that It's like so beautiful. It's like crazy. I would love to come here in the fall with all the trees. I think the winter would be really neat with snow. That would be incredible. I don't know how we would get up here though. <laughs> this is wild. We found a cool little like waterfall little thingy going on here. 
What is that? It's really cool. It's just a little area. That's all it is, that little area. We're on our way back down. I'm so ready to go back down, honestly. I'm starving. I know Piggy's starving. I know Michael's starving. This took way longer than we thought it was gonna take. That was a risky move I'm there. For naked and afraid. We're all into naked and afraid and we keep talking about it this whole trip. He's doing a really risky move. He's drinking the water. You're not supposed to just- No, this is purified. It comes off these rocks. I know that, but that's still a risky move. I'm not sure I understand. Oh my God, Siri's now going off. Anywho, we were on our way back down and we looked to our left and saw this craziness. And we decided to come check it out, but we're gonna keep heading down, see if we can do this. Go on. You guys, we made it. There's the parking lot. We're done. I seriously cannot believe that we did it. I had no idea what we were getting ourselves into today. Back in the truck where I was like, oh, Shock Rock, it's so easy and so nice. But once you do it like eight times, it kind of gets boring. So we're gonna go to this new place. We legit thought this was gonna be easy. This was a real, like, you really had to hike. Like we needed boots, not sneakers. Yeah, I wore the worst boots. <laughs> We bought three bottles of water, gone within the first five minutes, seriously. Now we did save a little bit for whenever we got to the top so Piglet would be able to have some throughout the trip, but like this was unreal. Yeah. The next time I find a trail that we're going to do, I'm gonna do my research and not just look at cool pictures and be like, babe, we should go do this. This looks really pretty. We would definitely come back here though. Well, it was really down, gorgeous yeah. and this was a lot of fun, but I don't think we would bring Piglet along. I know she had fun, but I don't think this was the appropriate no, trail for her. This was about the only day we could do it. If this was a summer day, we would have had to turn around for sure. And oh yeah. Not, we wouldn't even made it a third of the way up. So we just wanted to get her out of the house. It was definitely fun for her, but I don't think we'll be bringing her back here. Just Shock Rock, because that's a very nice, Easy. like, man-made dirt trail. One thing we definitely want to talk about is like, if you have a bulldog, any short-nosed breed, any of the brachiocephalic breeds, Activity is, uh, you know, one thing that they just can't do well. And uh, even if they're not showing signs, like, dogs aren't smart enough to know what they should and shouldn't be doing. So they could be exerting themselves, like boxer, French bulldog, English bulldog, um, any number of mixed breeds. If it has a short nose, they cannot uh, cool themselves down. So that's a big concern, of course, with Piglet. And if you have a bulldog, I'm sure you know. Um, but you just got to be really, really careful, which is why, as hard as it was, I did carry her for a lot of it we because took, like, you never know. Maybe 30, 10 minute breaks. Yeah, lots of breaks. Like we stopped, we took breaks, water, we laid her down on the cool rocks. Mm -hmm. I put water on her back. We're well, not. And that's, we're not well, that's super important. That. We, definitely, we definitely are overprotective with that. Yeah, but you want to be because we've, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of cases where. Bulldog will be running around, any type of bulldog or any brachiocephalic breed, and all of a sudden they just fall over dead. It happens a lot. Die. I also know my limits with Piglet. She really loves to walk. <laughs> she likes to go on walks and stuff. We go on walks throughout the week, like an hour walk, Look three mile tired. walks. <laughs> you tired, baby? So we're definitely very overprotective, so yeah. don't be scared that we're not. <laughs> uh, I, th I don't think there's anybody in the world who <laughs> think. We're uh, underprotective of our bulldogs, believe me. I think somebody's tired. I'm not sure, but normally she'd be sitting right here with us. And she's back there, dead to the world. Dead. And Savannah's hair is just all over the truck. Normally we have a blanket <laughs> back there. Yeah, I had to use the blanket for the mud. Oh no. Simi so. has destroyed this car with her hair. I have to get it detailed. All right, so we're back. Piggy's laying in her bed. I'm gonna give her some paw butter. I normally do this like once a week if we take like walks around the neighborhood and stuff. It keeps them nice and soft and good so they don't get all crumbly and gross and I don't know, like they split open. It can really hurt them and everything. So I really like to do this and I like to put nose butter on her nose because it's like chapped lips to them. So it just looks like this. It's just like a little chapstick thing. I can put a link in the description box below. I get it off of Amazon and I have like a huge tube in the closet for whenever this runs out. Cause I wanted to test this and see if it was good. And it's really, really good. Um, it makes her paws really nice and smooth and it helps them from drying out. So I really recommend it. And that's why I bought the big tube. So she's laying here on her bed by the window and I just rub it on her paws, like in a little circular motion on each little paw. 
she has mud in all of her claws. And then I just massage it in and it's kind of just a nice little treat for her. We both got a shower. Felt so good to get a shower. And now we're gonna have some dinner. Cause like I said a million times, we are starving. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat. Piggy's here, Savannah's here. They're ready to eat. So we're all just sitting on a nice relaxing night. I'm gonna make some dinner and then edit some videos because I have like a bunch of videos to edit. Maybe like three, I don't know, it's craziness. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, it was a lot of fun. I guess I should show you guys Savannah since you didn't get to see her all day. There she is, say hi baby. Say we'll see you in the next vlog. Say hi and bye. <laughs> bye guys.